Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to find out three simple ways to become the most valuable woman in his heart, stick around, because I'll be showing you just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to come. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you three very simple things you can do to become the most valuable woman in his heart, in the room, in your city, in the world, you get the picture. Uh, I see so many women, I have the vantage point, it's a huge blessing in my life of seeing so many women who are interested in finding love and so many of them are going about it the wrong way and I don't mean this as a criticism, I just mean it like they're going about becoming more valuable and standing out in the eyes of men by doing things that are inconsequential to a guy feeling most valuable about them. So I'm going to share with you something that's so simple but so powerful if you step into this that will make a huge difference and a huge ROI in you like, taking action versus getting the results you want. Okay, so the first one is say what you mean more and speak your truth more often. If you are connecting to a guy and you really want to stand out as someone who's incredibly valuable, someone he really steps into and really starts digging and feeling that hard connection towards, I want you to say your truth, speak your truth more often. So many times women connect to guys who are not um, interesting to them and they can be themselves, they can laugh, they can be so passionate or they can be charismatic they can be confident, but when you connect to a guy who makes your heart skip a few more bits, all of a sudden you stop speaking your truth, you try to manipulate the situation in some unconscious way so that he likes you more, you feel like if you really are the way you are at the extreme that you are, he's going to maybe think there's something less worthy of you, not like you as much. So my invitation to you is remove yourself from wanting him to like you and just be yourself because as a guy I can tell you when you connect to a woman, who knows who she is and who can speak her truth without fear or with more courage, that makes her stand out significantly above a lot of women because a lot of women are insecure about this. If you are the one who can speak your truth and be yourself regardless of what his opinion of, his, of you might be, that starts putting you into a very unique category of woman. Number two, widen your range of expressiveness. And I'm going to give you one specific exercise that will help you to get this in a non-theoretical way, in a way that's very practical. Widen the range between being playful and being open, okay? A lot of women are so serious when they connect to a guy that they're interested in or they're kind of funny and giggly but they don't have the ability to be deep. If you have that range of being playful on one end of the spectrum but being open and deep and connected and present to his heart's needs on the other end of the spectrum, meaning you're connected to your heart and you're creating that opening for him to actually speak his truth also and feel into what he's feeling. If you have that range, you're going to significantly, dramatically uh, stand out as it relates to other women. Why? Because most women don't have that range. Most women are not that open to begin with. And if they are, they're not that uh, um, playful. If they're really playful, they're not that open. So if you combine both, that puts you in a very unique category. Number three, show him your standards in action. Showing your standards means being able to say no when you need to, being able to set really strong boundaries regarding when and how you connect with him physically and emotionally. And also, the more it's like learning to do the dance, the more he steps in with presence, consciousness, passion, aliveness, the more time and energy you give him. The mistake most women make is they see a guy, they see his potential, and they act with a guy in terms of time and energy and aliveness and openness based on his freaking potential versus the reality of his actions. So you're going to be more focused on the actions he's taking. You're still open and playful and friendly, but the more his actions demonstrate that he really wants to connect with you, the more you open more and you give him more time and more energy. The less he does that with your actions, you show him the standard. If you want to connect with me, if you want to have fun, then you need to give him more presence, you give him more energy, you give him more um, time. Okay? So if this is helpful, insightful, useful to you, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video right now. Number two, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Number three, there's going to be a, a video, a link <laughs> underneath my uh, description of this video or on that lower um, button here on your screen that's going to allow you to subscribe to my free live webinar that will guide you to a three-step process to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. If you think, um, you have any questions for me, <laughs> I want you to also write a comment below on this video or any of my other videos and I promise to either reply personally or even better, sometimes create a video just for you with a reply. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.